In today's episode I will be making this very useful mini freezer, reaching temperatures down to 0 degrees celsius and will cool down your beverage in just 30 minutes. Let's get started. First of all you will have to gather the following components. The size of the box was based on the volume of the average drink, but if you need a larger one, simply scale up the dimensions. Here is the exact measurements. The insulation I'm using is 30mm thick foam and can be found in basically any hardware store for a couple of dollars. I used a black marker to trace out the parts on the foam and cut them out using a utility knife. With all the parts cut out, I quickly assembled it to make sure it was a good fit. I then used my hot wire foam cutter to slice the top part in half. This is for the Peltier module to have a good contact with heat sinks later on. I placed the Peltier module in the center of the sliced part and marked out the cutting lines. squeezed it in and added a small amount of thermal compound on the cold side. I mixed up some two-part adhesive and smeared it out on the edges of the heatsink slightly larger than the Peltier module. I placed the heatsink over the Peltier and pushed them together. I did the same for the large heatsink. Before I assembled the entire thing I did a quick test to see the current draw. With both the fan and the Peltier connected it peaked at 4.1 amps. The cold side reached a temperature of negative 11 degrees celsius. The key to reach these low temperatures is to remove as much heat as possible on the hot side. You can do this by using a large heatsink and a powerful fan to dissipate the heat. Using a high quality Peltier module will also increase the performance. Links down below. Instead of using hot glue, the fast cure silicone worked out great. It's white so it blended in very nicely and gave me enough time to align the parts perfectly. Instead of having the electronics glued to the box, I quickly designed a small wooden container to hold the components with these dimensions. Using the same board material as the drink cooler last week, I sketched out the parts and used a basic hand saw to cut them out. To make the parts look nice, I also painted them. I then marked where each component should be placed and made the necessary holes. I used my soldering iron to join the negative terminal of the LED to the appropriate resistor. I also attached the red wire and used shrink tubing to protect it from short circuit. At this point I began placing the electrical components inside the protective box. With the technical build of the freezer almost complete, I 3D printed two hinges for the door and used epoxy to secure them in place. I squeezed the box as hard as I could to seal it shut while the epoxy was curing. To really make sure the door is shut all the way, I used neodymium magnets and as you can see there is no visible holes for the cold air inside to escape through. The mini freezer is now complete, so I connected the power to make sure everything worked properly. Mm -hmm. 
by inserting a thermometer I was able to get some accurate readings. After only 8 minutes the temperature was down to 5 degrees and after another 5 minutes the temperature was down to 0 degrees celsius. Alright, I am very curious to know how long time does it take to cool down the beverage inside the freezer. As you can see we have an initial temperature of 19 degrees celsius and what I'm gonna do is put the drink in the freezer for 30 minutes and then we will come back and measure the temperature once again. After 30 minutes in the freezer it reached a temperature of 11 degrees which could be enjoyable at the beach and that's why you can make this simple adapter and now you can use a battery to power the device. Just make sure you have an alarm to alert you whenever the battery voltage gets too low. Remember that the power is adjustable in case you don't want freezing temperatures. If you did enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Have a nice day, bye!